Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Adobe Spark to create a video presentation. From your OSD portal page, you can scroll down and underneath the application section, there's a spot called Adobe Spark. You click on it. You might be requested to sign in and what that means is you should always click the button that says sign in with Google and it will attach your student account and connect it to our subscription with Adobe Spark. So you shouldn't have to type in anything. You just click on sign in with Google or it might automatically connect like it did here. From here, you'll notice that there are lots of different options that Adobe Spark offers. Today, I am just going to focus on the video presentation. So if you go to the blue button on the upper left corner, you click on it and you scroll down and click video. It will ask you to title your video. So I'm going to title this The Wonders of Egypt. Click next. It gives you template options for creating your video. And, but for this particular video, I'm going to scroll to the right and I'm going to choose make up my own, which is kind of like starting with a blank template. So pick this one. Immediately, it offers a video for you to watch. So let's watch the video on how to use the tools. And that's the video. You can click OK, I'm ready and exit to your original screen. So right away, it gives you options, which we already saw in the video, to add a video, text, photo, or icons. You can change the layout if you want it to be full screen, split screen, or if you want to caption towards the bottom, or title and, ta and text. I'm going to stick with a full screen and I am going to choose a photo. And I'm going to, by the way, you should always attribute where you get your photos from, unless you get free photos. That means that there's no copyright on those photos. So you'll notice that right off the bat, I have the option to find a free photo. So I click on that and now I use my search. So let's try Pyramids of Giza. There we are. I click on it and it pops right into my screen. I can then click on this plus sign in the middle of my screen to add text. So here I might say Pyramids of Giza. I can make that bigger or I can make it smaller. I like it a little bigger. If I click outside of this text box and see, look, it even knows, it tells me different ideas that I can do with this screen. Because automatically I thought, I don't want that text to be right there covering up the pyramid. And it's telling me, hey, you can drag and drop your text in different quadrants of this screen. So I click, okay, got it. And I can click 
and now I might drag it up to the top or I might drag it down to the bottom. So that's where I'm going to place it. If you want to change the font, you can go over to themes next to layouts. And this gives you a bunch of different styles to choose from. It even tells you, choose your video style. Okay. Good videographers maintain the same style throughout their slides. Changing up your font style is oftentimes really hard for people to follow. So just a hint, whatever style you choose, then make sure that you keep it that way throughout the rest of your slides. And I can keep scrolling. Maybe I want to do this one. Title. Now, you want more slides than this. So I'm going to click on that plus sign in the bottom left corner. But this time, or I'll add photo again. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Sphinx this time. Yeah, let's try that. There we go. I can add a, add some text to this. There we go. Make it a bit bigger. Maybe this time I will go ahead and change how this looks. There we go. Because I want to click and drag it into this corner. There. We'll add another tab here. And we'll do, you know, I think this time we should change our layout. We'll do a split screen. So maybe I want this photo to be some bow. There we go. But now you don't see much of it. So maybe it wasn't a good idea to do a split screen here. Maybe I'll change up what goes in that spot. Maybe I'll do Hatshepsut. Queen Hatshepsut. There we go. And then I can add text here. Bigger there. And we'll do another slide. Do another photo. Try Nefertiti. There we go. Can play around with these different photos. Maybe I want to switch my theme again to a split screen. but maybe I want it on the other side this time. There we go. We'll add a text here. And make that bigger. Okay. The cool part about this video presentation though, because so far we've just been using stationary photos and you're probably wondering what's the video if you go back to the beginning you can click on this microphone icon and you can add your audio to it notice that it asks if it wants to use my microphone you need to allow the use of the microphone so click allow and now i hold it down did you know that the Great Pyramids of Giza are the only surviving structures out of the famed Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. It was built by Pharaoh Hufu. So that is how you add audio to it. I can go to my next slide, add some audio there. What happened to the nose on the Sphinx? There are lots of hypotheses about the disappearance of the nose on the Great Monument. Some believe that the nose was detached during an invasion of Napoleon and his troops. 
Others believe that Mohammed Sal Adar destroyed the nose in outrage due to farmers offering their harvest to the Sphinx. It is also thought that it simply just eroded away. I don't know if you saw that, but it was telling me that I had to wrap it up because my recording can only go for 30 seconds. Click got it. You click here. Did you know that Pharaoh Hatshepsut was actually a woman? Yes. Oftentimes, women would rise into leadership positions in ancient Egypt, but to maintain their power and appearance of power, they had to dress up like men. She even wore a fake beard. And that's how you add your recordings. Maybe you've decided you've had enough of this slide and you think your presentation is long enough and maybe you don't need this particular one. You can always right click on it and delete it. Now I think I wanna play it right from the beginning. So if I go all the way to the left, there's a play button. Did you know that the Great Pyramids of- Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that music in the background? I am not digging that. So I'm going to exit out of this screen and I'm going to go back to the top where the music button is. And I'm gonna take a look at some of the options. Here we go. I think we're going to do this building tall. So now I've changed the theme. I'm gonna go back and try this again. Did you know that the Great Pyramids of Giza are the only surviving structures out of the famed seven wonders of the ancient world? Oh, it looks like it didn't get rid of my Nefertiti section. So let's try that again. Yes, delete. I did get my information from certain sites, so I would want to make sure that I reference those sites, like history.com and anthro, try that again, anthropology.msu.edu and from Britannica.com. All right, so I've listed my sites here and I think I've got everything done. I'm gonna delete this other slide I see here, maybe later. All right, it is time to download it and share it. Now that it's downloaded, we can share it and you can invite other people to share it. You can send it directly to your Google Drive. So you just click on your account, you allow, and allow again, and allow again. Click allow, lots of allowing. So now let's go check out Google Drive to see if our video is there. And there's my video where it says you just created this. You can double click on it. And it pops you back into Adobe Spark where you can see it. You can also right click on it and share it with a teacher. There's Miss Miller, I'll share it with her and then I can send it. That is how you use Adobe Spark to create a video presentation. Have fun.